Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. I hope you enjoyed those. What were those last night? Okay, so I was working a little later last night. Uh huh. Now, this is Hip and Poe. I don't know if Hip's face is. They're absolutely upset because there's storms coming in tonight, I guess, tonight. So they've been really intense already today. I wanted to read a couple things I haven't read out of here. In my show, I think it used to actually be a little better in a way. I'm just kind of... I need something different. I gotta maybe just... It's a super fun book. I always recommend it to people. I got it for $2.99 or someone did. I don't know where we got it. Would have been way more than that, but it's, it's super fun. And I saw a couple here I wanted to read. Although I hate when I, I tried to at least mark them. I used to just look them up, but I had a couple that I did want to um, to read specifically. This is by Gandhi. When I despair, I remember that all through history, the way of truth and love has always won. There have been tyrants and murderers, and for a time they seem invincible. But in the end, they always fall. Think of it always. Oh, Mahandas, Mahat, Mahatma, K. Gandhi. Now, the one that I really wanted to read was Thomas Paine. Facing life head on. These are the times that try men's souls. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will, in this crisis, shrink from the service of their country. But he that stands it now, I wonder if that's a typo, I don't know, shrink from the service of their country, but he that stands it now deserves the love and thanks of man and woman. Stands up, or I don't know, tyranny like hell is not easily conquered, yet we have this consolation with us, that the harder the conflict the more glorious the triumph. What we obtain too cheap, we esteem too lightly. It is dearness only that gives everything its value. I love the man or woman that can smile in trouble, that can gather strength from distress and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink, but he whose heart is firm and whose conscience approves his conduct will pursue his principles until death. Thomas Paine, a revolutionary. Charles Darwin, I kind of agree with him here and I kind of don't, but it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives. It is the one that is the most adaptable to change. Muhammad Ali, only a man who knows what it is like to be defeated can reach down to the bottom of his soul and come up with the extra ounce of power it takes to win when the match is even. I think of all the times I've looked through here and I never saw the one on um, Thomas Paine. I was a little obsessed with him. Not too bad. Uh, young, young, trying to read as much of his stuff as I could. <sighs> and I actually liked Gandhi. I just ended up finding out more than I should have about him. Sometimes it's just better to not find out the, the bad, the bad part sometimes, you know. But some people like to find that on people so they can hate them and 
I'm sure we've all fallen prey to that. Certainly I have. I had someone ask me about Trump. You guys, I don't know if that court stuff was legal. I know that people are already forgetting what he helped roll out. Now, the one that I thought was funny, but I always figured, I always wondered if Ernest Hemingway was, was like, what was his, he was a, he was a solitary more, wasn't he? I might have him confused with the other guy. Like, what other guy? Well, there was Ernest Hemingway, and I did tend to confuse the two of them. There was two of them that, I don't know if they had similar writing styles, but, um, Always do sober what you said you'd do drunk. That'll teach you to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> it's supposed to be funny. But I, I, when I read it, I thought to myself, I bet he said that real cocky. Real cocky. Now the one here, Benjamin Franklin, I thought that was funny. <laughs> Maybe that's not funny to you guys, right? Because of her. Anyhow, it didn't go good moving over here in La Salle. I don't know if anyone noticed, but... Yeah, they lined these guys up on the till immediately. They were coming to the grill when we were randomly going to play pool. And uh, just uh, they were like salivating, I believe. Over... Are they... The money signs in their eyes. Have I ever shared that? When I know when they, when they get on the... I say I'm on the till. They're on the till. When they get on the till, oh my God. Their eyes get like this little twinkle, and I see little like cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. All right. So wine is a constant proof that God loves us and loves to see us happy. Wine makes daily living easier, less hurried, with fewer tensions, and more tolerant. So maybe Benjamin Franklin had a little bit of a drinking problem. <laughs> no, that's not funny. Helen Keller, that's a pretty good one. Well, I guess that's really all I have for today. Uh, we could read a scripture real quick. So it looks like I'm going to have to help them burn a little steam off here in a second. With Well, no, actually, Hip has his foot messed up, so... He can't play light, because Poe is stronger and faster. Poe actually ended up smarter. He has, he is not as, he has impulse, obviously, the groundhog event. So he does have that, but that's his hunting, or, well, I guess we'll call it hunting. Um, hips more, he just does, and so he slant, he runs into stuff, hurts himself on a pretty regular basis. Not like severe yet, but if he continues to keep trying to win, he can't beat Poe. Poe po ended up stronger, faster, knows how to think through stuff prior. Hip does not. Hip is impulse only. Serve the Lord with gladness. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Psalm 100. And I have something real quick that I got to share. Real quick. We're at nine minutes. Hips itching because we have to switch back over to the duck formula. Um, I have no idea why the salmon, he, they enjoyed it, but he his weight, um, well, he wasn't like, he's not ever going to be beefy, but cause he has a fast metabolism, but I don't know, for some reason we had him a little more stocked up on the duck. I suppose it might have more fat. But the, the salmon was supposed to have the extra skin formula and stuff in it. Brain, brain function, skin, and fur. So now I'm having to slowly go back over into the, um, 
the thing and see hopefully it stops itching as much. They don't have fleas yet. I say yet because we've had things where we've had stuff planted for infestations and stuff um, on us. Um, okay, is that... Um, and yes, it's easier said than done. So let's just get that out of the way. Um, the devil, are you cleaning yourself now? Well, honey, what are you doing with the... All right. Is this all on camera? Nobody wants to watch you. Hey, hip. Let's relax for a second. Um... It can get real bad sometimes for people. So bad that they would prefer to hate God, blame God, and turn away from God. It's it's the one of the main dark side's tools because people do get just so downtrodden and and just stuff just piles up on them. It's it's part of life. Some people think that you can avoid it. Kudos to them. Some people think you can manifest out of it. Good for them if it works. Um, some think that you bring all the bad to yourself. I think he would almost had broke it. See, he's, get away. Get away right now. Like, just when I'm in that deep thought. And this is hip. That's total hip crap that he does. Uh, and then we have the side of why would God uh, allow this cruelty? Because it is so, it's such a foreign concept to the Western world, to even other religions is um, that we don't have to go through it anymore. I heard this in the church way back when that that Jesus took all the burdens and that we wouldn't have our trials are far less. They're far less involved. I don't know. I see some people get pretty messed up. So, including us. Including us. So, um, I doubt we'll ever really know the exact formula, but I do know that it's just one of the dark side's most notoriously successful tools is the human condition, the human heart can, it sometimes just seems like it's un, the, the load is so unbearably heavy that you just want to either give up, you want to give up on God, maybe you just want to give up on life altogether, or whatever the case may be. And there's also spiritual attacks involved. Um, the dark side would like nothing more he glories in someone taking their own life. It's, he's sick. It's a sick entity, and it, it has a lot of power right now. And it, I don't know if we're going to see a decrease. I, I, the fact that we have an alarming amount of a population of supposed professionals that got away with this murderous situation with the, um, the thing from the lab and... It's definitely something, and it's not pretty, and it's it has it has the ability of um, mutating into um, the parasite has more like more strength. I I think maybe some are immune to it. I'm sure it has very much to do with gut health, and uh, we wouldn't be probably in that group right now, but. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is the biggest, one of the top, three, I'd say three to five tools of the devil, if not his notorious one is, he will, he will even present you with something that's so, I mean, it's too good to be true, right? Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. You want to make sure to read the fine print. I'm not saying God doesn't bless people. He surely does. But we have to just really be aware that, for whatever reason, the devil is working overtime. He is using the economic strife to lure more people into these finance programs, 
to get on the till to stalk one person. Uh, and when I mean I get on the till, you get paid, you get perks, you get bonuses, discounts, whatever. Maybe you get some of your bills paid that you don't have to worry about them. And, and you're convinced or someone's convinced you that the ones that you're tracking, like a wolf would track a bunny, is... Uh, is um, you you really think you're doing the right thing because you're getting you're getting this bonus right? You got you got some extra dollar signs in your account. Just kind of all I have to say about that right now. And and uh, Hip doesn't like if the focus is off of him at all. He's like a straight up narcissist. I have no idea how. But Hip's more of a narcissist than Poe. And it's very bizarre to me. Because I didn't know that an animal could have. Okay, I gotta go. But just that, that was just the one thing I wanted to share. And I believe now I missed Dr. Carter's um, live. He's in Texas, I believe. Maybe he, it is 11 on his time zone. But it might come up in my time zone as 11 might have been at 10 so I'm gonna go and I just wanted to share those quick readings and this ended up longer than I wanted so that was 16 minutes and uh, I just hope you all have a good Sunday <gasps> Liberty Fellowship uh, 2 30 mountain time they're in Kalispell Montana I, I hope they're having something I think maybe his son-in-law is filling in and I don't know if I got his name did he give his name? He gets pretty nervous and he he feels like it's not, he shouldn't be doing this teaching or whatever. Like he doesn't think it's his, his thing, but so I think he gets a little messed up with that. So we're going to pray that he doesn't. And then he just jumps right into his lesson and he doesn't worry about if he's supposed to be a minister. He said he used to work with teens. And I think he said he's an engineer type or something. I might have that wrong. Um, and so Eastern Standard Time is 4.30 p.m. And that's all I have. And um, I'm going to come up with a way to put something at the bottom of that so that it doesn't blow up because John said it blew up on the roof. It's it's neat to have when the wind's not blowing. It actually is. And when you're kind of feeling like, well, you know, I'm not sure if I'm alright today. But that's not going to really save me, for God's sakes. But um, I had this really odd story to share. It can be believed or not. Whatever You just take it to the Lord. And when you die, just one day say, was, did Heather... Did all that stuff really happen to her? Because none of us believe it. Is uh, This was back when, oh, geez, this was a, that was a rough one. I almost could have got the pedophiles turned in, the grandparents. I had enough proof. There was new situations that had arose when my son was a teen. Um, that he would come home and report to me about after seeing them. Anyhow... There would be several people involved um, with this this operation. It's too complicated. I don't want to get off track here. But what I'm saying is I have this spot. I love taking the dogs out. It was, I had to walk from the double wide. It was a pretty long walk, but it was worth it. Because they didn't have a proper yard. So, you know, I never liked tying them up when they had to go potty in the morning. But we did. But I did a lot more walking. I was much more active on a regular basis. And um, we had got, I had got them conditioned where we could go even farther, but it was over by this college area. Now, I don't still have proof, proof of this, but as far as I know, they had a guy up in a deer blind, and I think he was supposed to sniper me. Well, you were, it wasn't a spot where you were supposed to be hunting. So I go and I report it because I'm like, uh, do you know that 
there's a guy back there in a tree blind on your on your edge of the, the college property. And I got real spooked. I don't remember if he had shot once or twice at this point when I was in the woods. And they had zapped me so bad and I was literally skin and bones. Uh, it was acting as if I had some sort of tumor in the brain. But I ended up through prayer and I, well, I almost keeled over at home in the bathroom one day. Um, Jesse was at school, John was at work. I just had to go into a very deep prayer and uh, I ended up spitting this thing up. I still never could figure out if it was maybe just a blood clot that was causing problems. The hospital had did something to me. It's, it's a complicated story, but it was pretty obvious what they were trying to do. And, um, so I ended up very deathly ill. At that time I was sober uh, for quite a, uh, it was a few years or more, I believe I was at least getting, getting where it was two, three, four years at a time. In some instances, the one time was longer. Um, but I looked back and I, with all these extra events that have condensed and it was like, Oh my God, I'm thinking it was the one associate of my of Tom, of the of the man who raised me, and he was gonna he was gonna shoot me. I never even associated that a lot of this paranoia came from this case set up on Sean Leonard, and uh, he was framed, and I know that he was he was threatened regularly. And he got into some mess with the police doing stuff for them. And it had to do with cameras and videos of minors and things like that. Uh, but the thing is, is that they kept us so where the cars were broke down all the time. This was over here all the time. The dogs being poisoned out back. Uh, this, the gates ripped off the back of the, the double wide. Uh, any number of events. Leaks out of nowhere, just a leak. You know, a leak wasn't there the day before, but we got a leak now. Uh, just things like that. To, to keep, because what, what it's, because all that stuff's done through these, the stalking program to keep, like, we can't, like, we're already, like, there's stuff that we needed to do here, but now we're, what are we doing now? We're hauling water. And a bunch of other shit. So we had to buy a bunch of stuff to get the water to pump. And so we've had to add that in to our regimen and, and um, I look back now and I'm like, holy Christ, that might have been Stan up in the tree and he was supposed to shoot me. So around, um, that would have been around uh, 2011 or 2012. I'll say 2011 to 2013. I'd have to go back and look at the horrible shit they wrote at the hospital on me that we could not get them to remove with my husband there confirming our events but yeah I think it, if it wasn't Stan Kotcher it was some other associate that was literally supposed to sniper me in the forest and probably haul me off probably haul me off so Because that wasn't private land. It was part of the college, or maybe it had gotten sold off to the to the um, Carrington Estates. But it is between the um, private, like a small golf course, and then there's this forest area. But there's trails. I think it was mostly the colleges. What was another weird one me and John had during that time? That was when we saw minors being prostituted. Was uh, These ticks just came pouring down from the sky. And that was when our stories started to get really odd. And we were like, you know, you, we can't tell people these things. You know that, John, right? Don't go work telling people we saw ticks raining down on us. But it literally was that. We were having to brush them off the backs of the dogs. And there wasn't any overhang. We weren't in that tall of a grass. It was it was like they were being dumped down. Well, anyhow, I gotta go. This was longer than I wanted. Have a good one. Bye.